Moving on within expert mode of flash print, we will now check out the addition section. The first settings are for pre-extrusion. Pre-extrusion prints out a set amount of filament at the start of the print process to ensure fresh filament is used on the model. The first option lets us select whether or not to use pre-extrusion by selecting yes or no in the drop-down. Margin is the distance from the model and path length is the overall amount of pre-extrusion to be printed. The final setting is the print speed. Next up is the wall section. A wall is a printed object used to scrape oozing filament from idle extruders in dual extrusion mode. It can also help protect our print from external factors such as air movement during the print process. The first setting lets us turn this feature on or off. We can then select the shell count for our wall. Decreasing this will reduce our overall print time while an increase will make our wall stronger. Margin is the distance from our model that the wall will be printed. Next, we can select the print speed for our wall. Finally, generating a wall inside holes will create a wall, where possible, on internal holes in the printed object. The next option allows us to select a brim, with the first option letting us enable or disable this feature. Similar to a raft, the brim is a feature that helps with adhesion for our print by printing a one layer outline around our model at the margin selected. We can increase the brim layers to increase strength, however, it will also make it harder to remove. Like the wall feature, we can also adjust our print speed for the brim. We can also allow it to print within holes in the same way as the wall feature. Finally, our last addition is a wiping tower. A wiping tower is a feature used for dual extrusion printing to help prevent oozing and ensure fresh filament is used each layer. This setting here sets the print speed for our wiping tower. Further settings for the wiping tower can be found in the main window of flash print, allowing us to select a quantity, size, base size and shell thickness, as well as placing the tower on our print bed.